As anyone who's ever had braces knows, they can be a curse not only aesthetically but also practically, especially when it comes to maintaining dental hygiene. So what if there was another option to rectify dental problems? The Bateco Method believes that by teaching a child to breathe through their nose rather than their mouth, crooked teeth can be a thing of the past. Here to tell us more, Patrick McKeown, Bateco practitioner and dentist Dr. Hugh McDermott. Uh, you're very welcome, gentlemen. Patrick, you've been nice. with us before and uh -huh. you've been helping some mathematics across the country yes. improve their, their breathing techniques with yeah. uh, a certain amount of success, it must be said. Yes. yes. Um, how does the with dentistry come? Um, well, what happened was basically my work had started seven years ago with asthmatics. I was an asthmatic and many asthmatics breathe through their mouths and we were seeing the effect that mouth breathing was having on, on, on lung um, constriction. And then I actually got a call from Hugh. They were doing an international conference. Hugh had been involved with this work for about 30 years in, in the effect that mouth breathing was having on, on misalignment of teeth. So I did a presentation okay. there um, because it's not just as simple to tell somebody to, to close your mouth and breathe through your nose. There's a reason why they have the mouth open. The nose might be blocked, etc. So you work with that. And um, then I got another call to, to, to go and in June I go to work with five orthodontists in the States to teach them how to teach their patients. That's and internationally in Australia there's um, Dr. John Flutter and he will say that all mouth breathers have crooked teeth. Now, we know ourselves from working with people with asthma that it has, mouth breathing has a significant impact on somebody's life, um, children or adults. And this was a new area that, um, you know, as adopting a preventative approach as opposed to... Um, but, but are there surveys, are there publications, is, is there actual evidence that it's caused by the mouth breathing rather than say it's hereditary or rather than it's overbite by a child sucking its tongue. I mean there are lots of orthodontists who will say this, is, this isn't the case. These figures are, are, are far sure. from accurate. Sure. Um, I know there's evidence in the literature but I'd probably force you yeah. to